Hey folks, welcome. This is Max. Welcome to another workflows video. Now in this video, I want to show you how to add air handling to your, to your uh, flow. Now, yesterday I showed you how to call an external uh, API endpoint. So I'm going to reuse the same uh, flow. Uh, and so this is the flow that you see right now. And here I have a, it's a different different API that I, that I used yesterday. But what I, um, this mock.codes service, um, it's pretty neat because it has all the error codes. Well, I should say just codes in general, uh, has success uh, as well as error codes and some other codes as well that you can, um, you can use for testing. All right. So if you click on it, actually, it will call the service and show you the response. So let's go here. So we have, this one should be successful. And then if I click test, then we get the uh, uh, response. So we tested the actual card. We can also test the entire flow, which gonna also, this is the response. All right. Now, so how do we set up um, air handling? So right here, there's a gear. So um, uh, I believe every car will have a gear that you can click. And then uh, one of the options will be air handling. And then there are a number of options. Um, I'm not gonna go through all of them today, but um, the one I did here is, um, so retry, so we're not gonna re retry the flow or you know offer how many minutes, um, that's for another video. But what I'm saying here is that if there is an error, um, do this. And then there are a couple of options. I'm using the run another flow, but there are other options is um, stop the flow. I think this is the standard one. You can also return the value, um, maybe like a string. Uh, but this one, um, then you get, you'll get this, uh, uh, another input where you choose which flow to run. And now in my case, it's this one here. It's very, again, sort of straightforward. Uh, this is the input into the helper flow, and then we just send the message to Slack channel, right? Uh, that's all it does. So going back here, in our case, if the this card fails, it will call the flow, and then it will pass this message um, to the helper flow, and then in turn to Slack, okay? So uh, let's see how it works. So we're gonna change this to 500, click save, and let's click test. All right, and we got the error message. Uh, and then let's see in Slack, yep, right here, uh, we got notified that, you know, something failed. Um, so we now know that um, it works. Um, anyhow, that's all I wanted to show you again. Uh, this is how you set the error handling for your, for your flow. I mean, there are other options that I'll go over in future videos. But um, as always, I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.